A walk of peace for once in the plain of the mosques, following the footsteps of St. Francis, who opened the door of Jerusalem to his friars 800 years ago. The entrance, normally intended for Muslims only, is opened for the delegations of the custody of the Holy Land and the Vatican. The director of the foundation, who administers the Esplanade on behalf of the King of Jordan, welcomed the delegations. The visit starts from one of the most sacred places of Islam, the rock on which Muhammad climbed to heaven overlooked by the great golden dome. The place of worship and preaching in the Esplanade for millions of Muslims is the equally majestic mosque Al-Aqsa. One of the Imams greets the Christian delegation on behalf of the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem. He describes the good coexistence between Christians and Muslims, remembers the times when he often visited his Coptic friends. The status quo violated in the Six-Day War is recalled by Sheikh Al-Khatib, who represents Jordanian authority. He says that Christians and Muslims want to keep together their respective holy places in the old city of Jerusalem. The Esplanade is the most disputed because there stood the temple destroyed by Titus. The visit to Al-Aqsa is a sign of friendship towards Muslims and also an opportunity to reaffirm, stresses Cardinal Sandri, the full right of worship for the faithful of the three faiths in Jerusalem. To the Muslim professor who asks for accounts of the Crusades, the prefect of the Eastern Churches replies that history must be studied in the context in which it took place. Of course, no one would have thought of crusading today. In the year 2000, the Holy Father John Paul II asked for forgiveness for the crusade. The visit ends with a souvenir photo as a sign of a dialogue that it is not simple, but increasingly necessary. This day allowed us to continue in the style of St. Francis, which is the style of seeking at all costs the meeting. And I think it is also the demonstration that when an encounter is desired, then the meeting takes place.